What's up guys, this is Theo here coming to you live with another JavaScript coding tutorial. Today I'm going to be talking to you about how to use the JavaScript switch statement. The JavaScript switch statement allows you to evaluate an expression and return um, a single or multiple conditions based on um, the evaluation of what you ask the user or, or the function. So we're just going to create a function that takes a user's order and depending on their response, we're going to return a certain answer to them. So we're going to create a function called, um, or, or we'll just do this, we need a function. We're just going to prompt the user, uh, what is, uh, what would you like to eat? Okay, and we're going to store this, we're going to say order, we're going to store it in a variable called prompt. So if we turn on our JavaScript, we should get that, it should work. So we're going to switch, we're going to implement our switch statement off of this order. So the, the condition we want to switch off of is order, okay? And uh, in order to get this to work, we need to implement what are called cases. So switching off this order, so in the case that order is equal to uh, pizza, then we just want to return, we are all out of pizza, okay? So the way it works is you switch off of a case, you switch off of a, con of a condition, which is this string that's going to be stored in prompt. And uh, if order is equal to this, if it's equal to this case, then we're going to return this. So we can create a few more cases. We can say case pasta. So we return coming right up. Um, and then we'll return one more just to keep it simple. We'll say case, uh, what else? Case uh, seafood. And we'll just say return that will be $19.99. Cool. And um, and then sorry, just forgot. After we run the case, in order to get it not to fall through, we want to break out of this switch statement. So say break, break, and what is it saying? Unreachable break after return. Um uh, well, yeah, I guess yeah, I don't think we need to. We don't need to break because we have return. I guess I was just logging it out. And if it doesn't meet any of this any of these conditions, we have a default case where we'll just return. Sorry, uh, we are not sure about what you want. Or or sorry, we don't have that. We do not have that. Um, so that's the default. It doesn't need a case. It's just called default. And uh, so let's try it out, guys. Let's uh, let's run. What is it saying? Legal return statement. Um. Okay, let me. I'm not sure why that's the case. Maybe I'm I'm rusty on my switch knowledge. Let me just change all these to console.logs, and then we'll break. I think the way it's set up, you're not supposed to use return then. Console.log, and then let me break. What does it say? And then console.log coming right up. And then let me break. And then console.log. And then we will uh, console.log. And then let's break. And let's try and run our program again. So it says, What would you like to eat? I'll uh, have pizza. We are all out of pizza. Okay, let's try and run it again. Uh, pasta, coming right up. Okay, let's run it one more time. Would you like to eat? Uh, I'd like to eat seafood. Sorry, uh, we do not have that. Here, hold on, let me see why. All right, okay, so here's a good example. Let me run this again. We put in seafood. Okay, so it says that would be 1999, but hmm, why does it say this? Well, because we didn't break out of the condition, so what happens is it falls through. It'll just keep going to the next case. So uh, in order to uh, get rid of this, we need to write uh, need to write break. Let me turn off the JavaScript real quick. Okay. Uh, let me write break, and then let me turn back on the JavaScript. What would you like to eat? Seafood. That would be nineteen ninety nine. Cool. Let's try it one more time. Let's try uh, roast beef, and let me clear that out roast beef. Sorry, we do not have that. So that's the default case. 
So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that video. I hope that clarifies switch statements in JavaScript. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up. Always appreciate the support, feedback, comments, complaints, concerns, questions, whatever you guys have. Really appreciate it. Really like making the videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks. Take care. Have a great day.